welcome back to another episode of World War Selection. In today's battle, where we have started the 3v3 tournament, we've scouted the games that have been played. This is over for today, but we found this one particular game. This game was epic, and we're going to share it with you today. Now, the teams are going to be Little Karamis. You might remember them from the 4v4 tournament. But they're going to be up against Imperial. We've got them in there, that group. Can't say the names. And we've got X Factor, Pition, and Tapiro in the Imperial team. And they're going to be up in the north. The Chinese players are in the south. And we're going to have a quick reveal of this map. There we go. We've got the choke point here on the right. We've got a separate island here. Kind of empty. Covered by some tigers, but kind of empty, but it does have four irons. That's not bad. And some wood as well. And some stones. Not too bad, not too bad. And a lot of sea to get fish. Now looking at the map here, we've got decent starts. Uh, should be able to find some food. We've got also oh, some fish over here. Decent start here, got a decent tree line. A couple of boars and cows, so you should be able to collect them as well for some for that extra food. Now, the decision these guys need to make at this point is how they're gonna play this out. Are they gonna go all in? As we see Pity on now moving some workers to the front line. Or are they gonna play defensive and play the long game? We'll probably see some naval action as well at some point and some island battles as well but who will come out on top well if you haven't looked at the results stay and find out and don't forget to like and subscribe if you haven't already Ooh, we've got some fish over here but there's a tiger is it going to get past the tiger he's going to get past the tiger a horrible tiger position blocking that boy that fish over there and here we go pity i'm doing the first First pits, I assume, yep, the first pits going down over here in the south. We don't have a stone cutter just yet or any pits. We've got some, what's this, warehouse. I was trying to get the warehouse. Got a decent amount of food there. He did lose one, one worker there, so that's a little bit slack. Hopefully he won't lose any more getting that boar. Found the fish over here, which is nice. And we also found the fish up here in the north which is very nice. This I do not like. Why are why the two guys scouting the same direction here? It's a bit of a waste, I would imagine. Now, Pideon's got two pits down here. And we see Tapira also coming down, and as well as X-Factor. So all three of them are coming down to the choke point, and it looks like they're going to build up their defense right here, right now. And meanwhile, the Chinese little Karamis, they're just calling them Karamis. Little Karamis here in the south, they're just going to get their pits at home. But I'm going to hope that they're going to at least move their pits more to the front line. But we see this guy doing it kind of right at the back here. He needs to be at the front. Now we've got some bulwarks going down to try and stop this, but I think it's a little bit too late. Uh, we've got some bulwarks here as well. Okay, that's not too bad, not too bad. I mean, whatever comes out, don't forget these these won't... The bulwarks won't shoot each other. And the only thing that can kill them is warriors, workers and macemen. So for the time being, anything that comes out of these, they're going to get shot down. The macemen's coming out. We'll see how quickly he gets shot down. To build away from the bulwark here. Oh, he's gone around the back. He's gone around the back. Okay, he's, he saved himself there. He saved himself there. And there's a lot of pits here in the middle here in the choke point. Finding that fish over here. Finding that fish as well. Everybody finding as much food as they can. Couldn't even try to get that mammoth. That mammoth might have been kind of important. We've got to get this cow, these cows as well. There's a lot of scattered food around. Scouting is very important. And the problem with scouting cows is if you're not watching your scout and you move away from that location you won't see it unlike the little fish where you will see the fish afterwards in the shroud under the gray shroud 
All right, so we've got some warriors coming through. Now it looks like the Imperial team has have gone mainly Macemen here. And Little Kramis has gone Warriors and Slingers. Oh, we've got some Slingers coming out from Pideon as well. Uh, got a lot of Warriors. Looks like they're just going to... Well, of course, they can't really fight against Macemen, so it looks like they're going to avoid them and run past this whole choke point army here. This whole base. No, going to go for the pits. Bad, not a good idea, not a good idea, yep, bad idea. And, and best to just run past and go to their base. There isn't much in their base, so they could try and get some damage done. I don't see... Okay, we've got a temple here. Um, just the one temple. A bit slower, the temples there. Um, a bit slower, the temples here as well. Oh, we've got Bronze Age already, so that was pretty quick. So he'll be able to help with the food. Oh, I've got some slingers that have been sneaked in by Pideon. So that is nice. It's going to cause a few issues here. Got a couple of kills on them. You can see the dead workers on the floor here. So that was very nice. And here comes the attack into Pideon's base. He is the front line here. He might be in a little bit of trouble hunting down them workers here. But in the meanwhile, meanwhile, there is a lot of macemen in the middle. Gonna have to build a lot of singers here to defend against all of these macemen. Ooh. Gotta run around your bulwarks. Run around your bulwarks. Oh, he's going for the temple kill. He's going for the temple kill. We've got we also got a few work warriors over here as well. Not gonna get that done, not gonna get that done. Now we'll have a look at Pity and what, what his situation is. He's got no food, but he does have he does have wood. He should, he should spend... Oh, he's trying to fight the warriors with his workers. It's not the great idea here. He's going to lose a couple of workers there. But I think he doesn't have much choice. Because if he ignores them, he's going to take down all these huts. And he's not going to get anything done at the moment. He's in big trouble. He looks like he's going to come back with his slingers to try and deal with this. Now, the warriors have gone off. There are some more warriors over here. Taking down just the houses, that's not going to do too much damage. Um, just trying to pick out whatever they can, I guess, is what, they're going to, what they need to do. Now, there's a wall going up from Little Karamis. They didn't get to finish it because the pressure is a little bit too much from the Imperial team. They have a good stronghold in the middle here. I mean, look how many pits there are. Jesus almighty Lord. So many pits. But unfortunately, they are kind of down one player with Pideon kind of got damaged a bit there he's going to need to recover a bit and get some of that food he doesn't have much wrong he's, I think they've given him some food here got Max there Max there he's doing Max oh this guy's a little bit behind and this guy still has not got his population upgrade so he's a little bit delayed there they need to hurry up a bit. So kind of evenly matched still. And at the moment, they really want to get that wall up. Once they get that wall up, they'll be a little bit more safer. But pressure is on. Kind of need to... They, I think they outnumbered them slingers-wise. These workers are going down fast. They're targeting them. So really, they should have brought their slingers right up close up. So... If they were targeting the workers, at least the slingers would have got hit. Where are these guys going now? Still haven't finished the wall. Why are they going back? Why are they going back? Why are they split like this? I mean, at the moment, it looks like they, they are little Kramis is really outnumbering their opponents here. I mean, they could literally just rush past all of this and uh, do some damage in their base. There's a lot of a lot of slingers here, right? So, looks like the pits are being upgraded, so they they will be looking to get to. Ooh, one guy's already going already to medieval, so that is nice. Uh, we've got Iron Age over here from Tapiro. Iron Age on the way as well from Sol uh, from X Factor and. They're taking up pretty well. Gonna have to 
Popillion. I think he's, he's lost some workers, so he's going to be down there. He's got 43 workers in three boats, so not too bad, not too bad. That's recovery. That is good recovery, so he should be upgrading very soon as well. He needs to get them workers. He needs to build them workers. Ah, he did not click enough. Uh, it doesn't look like he's going he's getting them shooting ranges as well and he's yeah looks like he's going to be heading over to iron age as well they're not wasting any time whatsoever and i think in a choke point game like this archers are important and it's the cheapest way to actually defend against your opponents so the wall is up i, I, I don't understand the point of this you're just wasting slingers shooting towers that can just be repaired or just be rebuilt it's the amount of money you're losing unless you want to lose your slingers I, I i don't understand the point of this what are these guys doing just hovering around here I think they're waiting for a drop or something like that it's a little bit too early for drops right here we go right here we go here we go to Piero. looks like he is is the Piero? yes it's the Piero. looks like he's found the island so he's going to be dropping on there momentarily momentarily there's a lot of fish out for the imperial team a lot of fish not so much for little kramis i thought there was more but the fish are kind of important especially when you go east asia but our first medieval here is from little kramis and the first thing he does is upgrade his navel so i assume he's going to start attacking with the junks Knowing that the opponents, oh yeah, he's already there. He knows what's going on. We have landed on the island. Looking for what's going on. Oh, don't attack a tiger. Jesus. Should have kept one of your scouts. Always keep one of your scouts so you can scout an, an island that's pretty large size. And at least then you've got full vision of exactly what kind of resources there are on that island. Yes. Here we go. In comes the junks. The sampans ain't gonna do much. This is already doing quite well here, keeping them busy, but there's a lot of fish over here on the left side. They need to kinda, hopefully they've scattered it and they'll be able to see what's going on there. All right, looks like they've come out of their gate. Got some archers and slingers. And they're gonna start pushing forward. Where is this guy? This guy is just chilling at the back here. I'm not too sure why he's not fighting as well. He's, he needs to, oh, there we go. So that's different. Let's bring all that home. Interesting, interesting. It's gonna load that up to the jump. Okay. All right. All right. All right. All right. Now we've got Tapura and X Factor with Medieval upgraded their navels there, their ports, and they're gonna start coming out with the junks as well. And the key here is to just fight battles against smaller numbers and just keep building and building and building and that is exactly what they're doing here so whatever it comes out of here they're just gonna die and killing a couple of boats fish boats here as well we do have some archers to help out which will be good and we got a run by finally run by oh this is gonna be nice go, go, keep going keep going keep going don't stop there just keep going although you might want to stop this happening but keep going this will be huge come on kill them kill them oh, look at that oh my god nicely done pity in there <laughs> oh shit that's some that was some ninja stuff there nice nice okay oh here's my spring old here in this boat not too sure what the deal here is he's gonna lose that I means getting hit so oh look at that oh he's do oh Picking, oh, he's using the, the boat with the more health there. Dropping. Oh, this is this is some next level stuff. This is I like this. I do like this. Pick up, drop, pick up, drop. Yes, and you know what? You could really destroy the ports that way very fast. Picking up and getting another one. I like this. How the how the singer's doing it? Yeah, not doing too bad. Not doing too bad. Is he gonna get that finally? Nice. 
That's huge. That's an expensive tower. Pick it up. Pick it up. Pick it up. Don't use it. Ah, oh, should have carried on going. I mean, that. I'm gonna have to use that. I'm gonna have to use that one. I mean, I used. To, I kind of did something before with the hand cannons. You pick them up your units and then drop them and then pick them up when the army comes. But this early with the spring hold, I mean, that does a lot of damage. And they look like little Karamises looking like they're dominating the sea at the moment. And that Springhold is still alive. How's the centre going? Uh, we've got the uh, the old Ashigaris out already for the little Karamis. So they're going to get some damage done. But the heavy archers are there to defend them. We've got one tower. I think they should be able to hold that off. We need to kind of get their groups together here. still in there. The boat's damaged though, the boat's damaged. How about this getting quite a few hits? If they can get this, that'll be huge. That'll be huge. Yeah, first thing you want to do is get the iron, so at least you're not taking the iron from your mainland. They've got a lot of ports here. I think they're gonna end up defending off. Oh, good, let go. Drop, drop, drop it, drop it. Kill the, kill the ports. Drop it and kill the ports. Oh, that's nearly dead as well. Nice, nice. Okay, so they're gonna sacrifice their fish boats then, and then I think they're gonna get the number soon. Oh, what is this? Oh, no, no, he's waypointed his fish point, fish boats all the way up to here because he was buying, he was getting the junks. Oh, he's messed up there, he's messed up there. He's gonna lose some fish boats, unfortunately. Back to the, back to the right side. We've got some rocket cannons in. Be like two is it two people fighting yeah it looks like two of them are fighting in the choke point and um, oh dear oh dear look at how many how many there are stuck here that's not good there that's not good there that's Pityon's shooting ranges so Pityon is fighting here with a little bit of help from X Factor and Big X Factor and Tapiro are dealing with the naval. Right. Warships are out. Put it into Karamis. And I mean they had they had the sea control. They've kind of lost the sea, haven't they? They've lost the sea a bit. Decided to get fish boats instead of more junks. What's in there? What is in there? I want to know what's in there. Ah, workers deciding to go onto the island. It was a good idea if you managed to get some bolts out here, but it didn't quite work out. So, big load of junks coming down. Might take down these bolts here. Second door opened. Can't you, can't you get through? Ooh, that's a range, that's a range in the heart, isn't it? Oh, this is this guy. <laughs> right, they need to bring these rocket cannons forward. They're wasted there, right. Shooting ranges going up in the island. And we've got some harquebusiers there as well with the archers. Remember, these, if you stop and shoot with these, they do a little bit better. If you move and shoot, they're not as powerful. But I think he should be able to deal with that. I mean, this is one guy. This one guy is dealing with the whole sea against two guys. So that's a little bit tough there. So let's switch it off. Switch, switch to see who's who. All right, yeah, we've got yellow and we've got green here. So he's fighting against two people. Ah, so far. Oh, they've broken through the choke point. They've broken through the choke point. They need to get rid of this tower. This tower's going to get a lot of kills. But they're losing. Oh, they're losing very important shooting ranges here. The Samurais are going to town. They need to bring the rocket cannons forward. That's it, pull back, pull back. Don't want to lose those samurais. They're very important. Big, 
battles going on in the sea here now. So many junks. So many junks. Oh, looks like Tapura has split off from the battle there and he's going down to kill some of the boats. The fish boats from Little Karanas. All right, we've got some hand cannons out. Bloody tiger. Three kills on that tiger. Bloody hell. Just die. I've got some stables going up. Right, put him back here. Put him back. I don't think they want to waste this very expensive army just yet. I mean, I think they've got this, but they need to get through. They're a little bit blocked here. Losing some archers. Oh, nice dance. Nice dance. Where are you going? Where are you going? Go around the side. Go around the side. They, got they need to aim this properly. Go, 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 go straight in. That's it. Beautiful. I think they should completely annihilate that army. Yes. Nicely done. Very efficient there. Beautiful strategy by Little Karamis. Right, the battle's still going. That's a lot of boats. That's a lot of boats. I think Imperial have won the sea battle here, but it is two against one. Not too sure which battle you want to win the land battle or the sea battle, but either way, the sea is definitely decided here. Oh, they're coming out. They need to come out more. More needs to come. More needs to be built, but they're not in production here. Right, some of the samurais have gone through. Might get a few kills here. More than a few kills. Yeah, best to just run away. If you see a samurai, you run. You never stay around to fight. Finding any value here with the Samurais. Running around trying to find stuff, but they're not finding anything. This will be a sweet spot. Archers are chasing them down. I think they should be alright if they defend that well. Oh, what are these mounted Samurais? Oh, God. Oh, nice ambush there by Little Karamis. Made them bring the boats all the way to here so they could use the hand cannons and the harquebusiers. Turns the tide. That turns the tide. Oh, I see a couple of dead workers on the ground, but not enough. Mounted Samurais are out. Imperial. And they're getting chased down. That's the, probably the best defense against Samurais is Mounted Samurais. Yeah, that whittled down, that whittled down. I think, I think, I feel like they should have focused a little bit more maybe here just taking down the shooting ranges running around is not that efficient you don't have the speed like on a horse all right this is done they need to take this down while they have the chance we've got a little bit of armies here on the land i don't know who's gonna win this one looks like little kremis has the upper lead i think they got more I think they got more, but they're both a bit scared to fight each other. We do have industrial over here by Little Karamis. That's not too bad. And the sea battle still going on. Oh dear! Completely outnumbered. And we have some. We have drops. We have mounted samurai drops coming down towards the south. This could turn the tide. Do we have industrial yet? No industrial here. And where's the other temple? India, 32% done. We have got late medieval there from Pityan, so you might be able to get those cannons out. But he's defending, he's defending. Nice towers there. Could get the cannon towers. That could help. Right, the battle finally is happening here, but... Oh, no! And just like that, just like that. Just like that. There's Samurai's turn the tide over. So many kills.
Oh god. Then there's no defense on in on their side. Like they never really had to build any units. Oh, that's a lot of hand cannons. Is that overkill? Oh, he's dropping mounted samurais here as well. Ouch. Oh, the mountain surprisingly is still going on 13 kills, 7 kills, 5 kills, 9 kills, 8 kills, another 8 kills. Jesus almighty. This is probably the most annoying thing that could happen, but you need to be prepared for things like this. You need to be prepared. I mean, oh, just, just get towers. Towers. Oh, have your Harkabas here ready for defense. You know the boats are coming. Have them ready. As soon as they pop out of the boats, just kill them. And they're still going on. 13 kills. 20 kills. 22 kills. 16 kills. 12 kills. Someone do the maths on that. That's nearly... I don't know, about 80. Coming up to coming up to 100 kills, nearly. 100 worker kills. Here comes the Harkabas here. Finally... And we also got a machine gunner, but they're out of position and more going down. The farm's going down for the industrial guy. Oh god, this is this is torture to watch. What's going on on the right? The right's pushing though. Look at this push, huge push. We got everything here. Hand cannons, harquebusiers, archers. That's all you really need, really. And this is gonna be a big push. Big push. Uh, we do have some cannons. Should be able to help out. They need vision. They haven't got the vision, so that's going to be a little bit of a problem there. Meanwhile, on the island. On the island. Using a bit of ground here. Need more Need more units here. Just the hand cannons alone ain't going to do it. And, yep. Yeah, they keep dropping the mounted samurais. Where's the mounted samurais here? To turn the tide. Keep building hand cannons. Oh, the, the cannons aren't great against that. Oh, another drop here. Uh oh. And we got here. We just hit India. I guess only one person is going industrial on the Imperial team for the time being. More kills here, but with the Harkabasiers, I hear there isn't too much here. To be able to save oh two went down before they could get in the tower okay we've got some machine gun trawlers they can kill some of the boats fish boats that would be nice looks like they're losing the battle here they need to they really need to win the island the island's got the iron resources they've got a decent amount of wood i mean there isn't much wood left there isn't much wood left we've got the stone here that's been torn apart we also got the stone here might want to get this while we've got the advantage here but look at this push look at this push they're getting closer and closer towards their enemies nice push over here Ooh, the machine gun trawlers I can't see 54 damage Damage he's doing. 39 damage. Doing a lot of warships do more damage. But I, th I think the key is that the, these have got range, right? Yeah, eventually they win. Eventually they win. But they, they cost iron. So that's the uh, that's the issue with them. Oh boy. Now to summarize are coming in. Disrupting this push completely. Pure held on until his teammates got there in time, and he's got some cannons there as well, which is nice. Wow, that's a lot of workers moving around. Why does he need to move around? It's all right. He's, he's put it all on food because he's got plenty of wood, and there isn't much wood left. So he's got this here, it's 2,000. He's got a big tree line over here, not too bad. I did. You want to get all your trees in front first before your enemy 
can push you. Uh, we've got airfields going up for little Karamis. Let's see what's going on here. Let's see what's going on here. We've got these being upgraded. Still building them hand very expensive hand cannons. Very expensive. Oh, that's going to look at that. There's some cannons coming through now. Loads of kills on them. Nice fishing over here on the side. Trawlers trawling. Maybe if they come over. Oh, if they could come over here and take down these boats, that would be pretty good. But Pition had did have when I last checked. It does have a decent amount of economy here. Always oh, running out of wood. He needs to get on the wood. How much do these cost? These guys. These only cost iron. So basically, he only needs iron. There is this 5k iron here still. Right, no more boats for him. It looks like this is nearly over here. If they can get a couple of hand cannons through. There we go, the hand cannons are coming. And should be able to take down these buildings. And that will be the end of that. Only one airfield. Only one airfield. Yeah. Let's have a look at this guy. He's just that late. It doesn't look like he's going any more than late. Got industrial nearly over here as well. Nothing there, just one industrial for Imperial. Imperial I think I, I would assume slightly in the lead at the moment. We can have a look at the chronology, see if this works. No, it doesn't, unfortunately. Can't really tell with that. Who's got the more economy? Eventually, whoever's got the island will have more economy. Look at that. That's a decent sized tree line here. So, that's, he's got a lot of workers on there as well. So, he is good there. And that way, he, he can let his teammates take the rest of the wood that's on their main island. Okay, we've got India on the way for Tapiro. Still no population upgrade, can't afford the population upgrade, don't forget he lost workers so he's actually having to build things he doesn't really need to build. Looks like to sending some food, doesn't have much himself even though he's industrial he does not have much himself, he's spending everything he can, he's trying to get the population upgrade, it's one of the hardest things to get when you're in a epic battle is your population upgrade once you hit industrial it costs so much and it's draining and if you're in the middle of a battle where you've got to keep building units as well it's it's not nice it's not nice the cavalry is here it's not enough though it's not enough I'm gonna run off and try and get some damage done maybe 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 we'll see we'll see I mean, most I mean everything's pretty much Harvested on the island. Push is going well. Where is the where is the siege? They got no siege. See this, this towers doing a lot of hits. So don't quite like that situation there. The Pira back on the boats here. Oh, we got the balloons out now. Finally. Trawlers coming through, really got to focus on these trawlers, get as many boat kills as you can. Right, whenever they need to, the Imperial team is backing up to uh, Pideon on the right here. And then once they're pushed back, little Karamis is pushed back, they go back to focusing what they need to do on the sea and whatever they need to do over here. be in trouble here with the what's this what's this what's this machine gun tower right there not there that's the worst place to put it might as well put it by the tree so at least then you can get the trees after 
Oh boy. Oh boy. Five air fills pumping out non stop balloons. Uh oh. Uh oh, indeed. Is this. Oh, 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 okay. Big drop, big drop here, big drop. I'm not sure if that's the right idea. I mean, they, they, well, there is two of them trying to battle this on the right here. They, sh they shouldn't really need him. He's got his own problems here, trying to deal with people attacking him, defending. Oh, God, the economy's running out. The economy's running out. They really needed this island. Oh, they died. That's the beauty of Asia, you can just pump out units as fast as you can. Too late, too late. Oh, it's a balloon. Nice kills, nice kills. I see a stream, I see a stream coming down. it not much you can do against the balloons the balloons uh, you've got to be really ready for them anti-air yes this is just for defense the rest are going to to their main island where they don't have defense against them this is a stronghold We've got machine gun towers here balloon popping up Gonna get that stone, very important stone. Whose stone is that? Is that the middle? No. That's this stuff. Okay. Get that stone, mate. Get that stone. And that is GG. Once they saw the amount of balloons. Wow! Two top players coming against each other. On a map like this, you're gonna see some action. It wasn't, I mean, the smallest thing. Dropping those mounted samurais really messed them up. Messed up their economy, which then gave them opportunity to overrun this island, which is the very important as it has a lot of resources. They already yammed up this stone here as well. Endless amount of iron. We could literally, with bolts and iron, you could build soldiers or rangers, whichever, whichever one it was. Rangers. Oh, look at that! He even he even got the upgrade to get the trench mortars because he doesn't have siege being in India. And uh, well, at this moment, he just decided to go for pure military balloons here and. And he's maxed out as well, so that is nice. Did the other guy max out? Not really. Yeah. Well, actually, the buildings have died, so it's, it's hard to tell now. Well, I hope you enjoyed that. I hope next week we got some more games that we can review for the tournament. Oh, tomorrow. Tomorrow carries on. So, hope you enjoyed it. Until next time, goodbye.